Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. All right, everyone, thank you for checking out this video. Kenny Tony coming at you today real quick. So what we're doing is our best attempt to get Spark in the WR450. So I went on eBay and I purchased a OEM stator. I figured I got it narrowed down after I replaced a couple parts. The stator was aftermarket, left some holes in it. I tried to do the resistance test and it didn't really seem like it was gonna be working too accurate for me. And I know that I've had spark issues in my 660 Raptor because of the stator. So I decided to look for an OEM replacement and we're gonna get that installed real quick. So I highly recommend you all get an OEM stator. So this is the stator that the person who had put in before me who had stated he couldn't get it started. So it's not factory by any means. I did try to cut the wires to put another pickup coil on it. But I bought a used one offline, went in and put it on there for 35 bucks to see if I was gonna be able to get spark. And now we'll see. Gotta see if I'm where, where we can jump a gap. So, can we get spark? Plenty of spark. Plenty of spark there for me. All right, everyone, so we have it out here. I started it, I drove it. And this thing is crazy fast. A little scary, to be honest. But I wanna get it fired up for you all for the video so we can keep this project moving. It does not have an exhaust pipe on it, so it's gonna be extremely loud. I'll fix that. So it's loud and it's powerful. This is gonna be fun. So it looks like I am going to buy a top end oil gasket kit or a type in gasket kit. Looks like I have oil from here. They didn't put an aftermarket cylinder on, so we're gonna make sure that looks all good once we get it all off here. And with the carb, I'm having a hard time getting it to run off choke. So that's going to take some adjusting and possibly some rebuilding. It's a Boyson car, but this thing is crazy powerful. And it's going to be amazing in there. All right, so here we go. We got it all back together. I did put a new pilot jet in it to see if I can get it to idle. Because as soon as I let off the choke, it would want to dial me. I did replace the main jet with a... 160 that was already in it and I think the pilot jet was a 50 or 150 or 50 I replaced it with exactly what was in it see if we can get it to run I do need a new hot start here is the plug and the plunger looks like it's still down in there but we're gonna give it a shot and see if we can get a start and run up I've already tested it a couple times it runs a little lean because once I goose the throttle and let off it still wants to rev high so we'll see if I can take care of that
Well, we'll work with that. Well, we will work with that. However, I did, did start without the choke being pulled, and that's good. But like I said, the hot start is going to probably help that a little bit more. My jumper pack right here because my battery is dead. Hmm. I'm going to try to put the air screw all the way in. That's a lot better than what it was. So I had the screw out too far. I guess it was letting too much air in, not enough fuel, maybe. But once I put it all the way in, bracket it out a little bit, boom, 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 that works. All right, everyone, so that's music to my ears. The WR450 starts, it revs. I did change the jets in the carb. It does have a Boyson quick shot or quick start sticker on it. Um, it does have that quick start at the bottom, not the one with the knob, but I think it's the quick start too. It does also have the Boyson thin in the back. But we're gonna explore that in a later video once I take the carb and everything out because it's gonna get a thorough cleaning before it goes back in. I know the motor is all good and everything runs right. However, it's gonna get a top end gasket kit because it does have an oil leak in it. I'm gonna replace the side gasket. It's gonna powder coat the top, the valve cover and the stator cover as well as the clutch cover. I don't know why that word slipped my mind. But we're gonna, in the next video, start working on taking this apart. Basically leaving the roller and the fenders and everything, full bike that I've had in the beginning, basically leaving all that and going to post it for sale to try to hurry up and get rid of it keep things moving i don't have a need for that i'm a four-wheel person not a two-wheel person so we're good and then and after we get all that removed and out we are also going to then get the yfz into the building get everything off of it so it's nothing but bare frame front wheels and back wheels and you know all the extras off of it so i can start mocking the motor up for where i'm going to be Buy me a couple pieces of steel and see if we can get some bottom motor mounts put in there. Document how I plan on fitting the rear swing arm in. And then getting that thing in there. See how it's going to work for us. Once we get it initially put in there, the next plan is to send the frame off to powder coating. And while that's a powder coating, I'm going to be taking care of a bunch of little parts. And in those videos, it's going to be where I'm going to be doing the top end gasket kit, making sure my timing and things look good, and replace anything I see in the motor that I feel needs to be changed. All right, everyone, thank you for checking out the channel. Hit the like button and subscribe. This is BN.